forced organ harvesting in China. Some have called it a crime against humanity, others have never heard about it. But this month, a trio of U.S. doctors want at least 25,000 Americans to help get the U.S. government to speak out. Now a leading religious freedom advocate is adding her support. This is a shame on the conscience of any nation. Any nation that permits this to take place, organ harvesting, you know, it, it shocks the conscience. It literally shocks the conscience. On December 2nd, three U.S. doctors, including renowned bioethics scholar Arthur Kaplan, launched this petition. It was submitted under President Obama's We the People initiative, which helps the Americans exercise their rights to petition. The campaign highlights allegations that the Chinese regime has been killing prisoners of conscience, primarily Falun Gong believers, for their organs. The issue was first raised in 2006 but has been largely omitted by the international media. Katrina Sweat, daughter of the late Congressman Tom Lantos, an avid human rights advocate, says the petition is incredibly important. This is incredibly important because this is the sort of story that once it reaches a critical mass with the public, once people really become aware of this, it's so horrifying, it's so despicable, it so appalls people, but it's really not known yet. And so I think this petition is an excellent idea. There have been unconfirmed reports that the Chinese official Wang Lijin gave U.S. authorities information about forced organ harvesting when he fled to a U.S. consulate in February. In October, 106 Congress members wrote a dear colleague's letter to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton urging the State Department to release any information it may have on the matter. This latest campaign is calling on the U.S. government to investigate and condemn the organ harvesting claims if it receives 25,000 signatures before January. January 1, 2013, the White House is required to make an official response. NTD News, Washington, D.C.